Hey guys, uh, my name is Sergio Shankelpour. I'm the owner of uh, Sergio and Company and the pasta shop here in Denville. And I was asked to uh, make this video with you guys today. And I'm truly honored and thankful that I was given this opportunity. Today we're going to be making uh, meat lasagna. Uh huh. And we're going to be making some delicious garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread. Try to make it as simple and as easy as possible, something the kids can definitely make with you. And I'm looking forward to making it with you. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to be making some cheesy garlic bread. And our ingredients, obviously, is a great loaf of bread. We have some melted butter, we have roasted garlic, some fresh chopped Italian leaf parsley. We have some Romano cheese, the secret ingredient. And we have um, grated mozzarella, something you can get at any local store. We're going to basically mix the roasted garlic with butter, smash it up in there, make like a nice little sauce. We're going to add a little, uh, add our parsley there as well. We're going to actually pour all that over the top of the bread. But we've seen we've cut the bread. We've cut the bread down the middle and we slice it across about one inch slices. And that's going to allow you to get all that goodness in there. Okay, so you want to try to get that butter and parsley and garlic all in between the crevices. Then we're going to use that same bowl. We're going to mix the grated mozzarella and the grated Romano cheese. That's where all the salt's going to come. Mix that together really good. Okay, with your hands, use hands, and then we're going to basically, you can get the kids involved, and you're going to basically shove all that mozzarella in all those little areas, uh, load it up with cheese, okay, with that cheese until you're done, and then we're going to basically put it in a piece of aluminum foil. We're not going to close it all the way, we're going to just crumble it up, surround it, put it in a 350 oven for approximately 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how brown you like it. Take it out and enjoy. Alright guys, here we go, we're going to be making some meat lasagna. All right, first we're going to start with the mixture. We're using the whole milk ricotta, one pound. Okay. We're using a half a cup of grated Romano cheese. We're doing three whole large eggs. We're doing a little dash of salt and pepper. And of course, eight ounces of grated fresh mozzarella. We're going to mix that all together. Use a nice large bowl, let the kids get involved. It might get a little messy, but you know this is what it's all about. And then put that on the side. Next, we're going to focus on our sauce, okay? You need a quart of marinara. I decided to saute some ground beef and onions, about eight ounces of ground beef, and some diced onions till they're soft, okay? Drain the oil, mix it right into your marinara. The next ingredient is going to be a one cup of water, salted water. Very important, because we're using dry lasagna. We need that water to reconstitute the lasagna. Don't worry. Fine. And now we're going to build. We're going to use about three quarters of a cup per layer. Three quarters of a cup of sauce will be your first layer. One sheet of pasta, if you one cup of ricotta in any way you like. I use scoops. Scoops are a lot easier to handle. Okay. Then we'll put another three-quarter cup of sauce on top of that. Take one sheet of lasagna, press it down until she's nice and flat, and spreads all the ricotta out. You're going to repeat this two more times. We're going to do a cup of ricotta. We're going to do a three-quarter cup of sauce. Another sheet of lasagna. Same thing again. A cup of ricotta, three quarter cup of the meat sauce, and then your final sheet of pasta. And then what you're going to do is another three quarter cup of sauce on top of that. Now you've completed the lasagna. She's ready to be baked. I'm going to cover it in aluminum foil. I recommend putting it on a sheet pan with a piece of parchment or foils because it might boil over and we don't want to mess up that stove. Keep in mind, I did use a throwaway pan. I think that would be very helpful, Mom, when you're, you know, don't feel like doing the dishes. This is a very easy, easy thing to do. We're going to cook it at 350 degrees for approximately 45 minutes. I would let it rest for approximately 15 to 20 minutes before serving. And in that time, you could be cooking your garlic bread and getting it ready for dinner. And that's it, guys. Meat and lasagna. Very easy. Something the kids can definitely get Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making uh, meat, lasagna, and garlic bread. It was my pleasure to do it for you. Uh, I hope this inspires you to give it a try, give the kids a shot. It builds confidence. It helped me growing up become more confident with myself and move on to bigger and better things. So don't be afraid to try it. Um, enjoy. Again, Sergio Company, Pasta Shop here. Loving the community, loving you guys. Thank you for everything.